Uh, here we go. Thank you. Hi. Hey. How's Marty doing? Uh, I was just getting her some breakfast. It's It's been a rough day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I try to make things better. I do. But it seems like everything that comes out of my mouth is just wrong. Well, you know, it just so happens that I was planning on paying Marty a visit today. And you know what? I think maybe now would be a good time, don't you? Thanks, Mark. See you later. See you. Maybe, maybe Nora can say what, what Marty needs to hear. I'm sure as hell not doing a good job of it. Don't think that Marty doesn't need you. Now, you were that baby's father. You understand better than anybody. I gotta admit, I was kind of getting into the whole idea of things. And I remember I told you it, uh, it's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. You know, I still don't know if I would have made a good father. But you know, that day you made me want to try. And no matter how things turned out, I appreciate it. It's too early. Let's go get something to eat and try again later. It's empty. There's no lights on in the back. Okay, good. Why is that good? Oh, Balsam, don't tell me you're thinking about breaking in. No, not thinking about it. I'm doing it. Uh, I gotta get back to work. Oh man, I can't wait to say that myself. It'd be good to have you back. Hey, you hang in, okay? My best to Marty. I'll tell her. Thanks. So Whitney said something about dinner before the prom? So where are you guys going? No clue. You no, know, I barely know this girl. Uh, what are we supposed to talk about? Cheerleading? Not funny, bro. Hey, why don't, why don't you and Danny double with us? Do people double for prom? Oh, come on. At least with four of us, we'll never run out of stuff to talk about, right? Sure, kind of like the other day in the gym. You and Danny were talking. It didn't really look like you guys were running out of things to talk about then. You gave her a phone? Yeah, I replaced the one she broke. Danny broke her phone. The other night in the park, she didn't tell you? No. She was freaking out about all the stuff with her dad, and I don't know what made her do it, but she took her phone and just chucked it. Luckily, I was there to pick up the pieces. I can't believe Renee let us take all these home. Are you kidding me? We're las mujeres de la familia Delgado. The world is our oyster, sweetheart. Yeah, well, I'll try them on later, okay? Oh, no. After I get home from school. Honey, the world may be our oyster, but Renee needs these back. There are going to be other last-minute shoppers looking for prom dresses to wear. Please, try one on now. Come on. Come on for me. <laughs> Come on. I don't get it. Why are you so intense about this? <laughs> so I'm supposed to believe that Tay is too busy with Danny to care whether I live or die? I don't think so. There's more to it than that. She was acting too strange yesterday. If you know something, you need to tell me. No, I don't need to do anything, Todd. Remember when you told me that Taya told you that I was the love of her life? Oh, like you'd ever let me forget it? Well, is it true? Yes, I think it is. And if something's going on, don't you think I should know about it? But, you know what, Todd? That is Taya's decision, not mine. So there is something that I don't know. Well, Blair, listen, if I'm going to do anything about it, it's got to be now, because when I'm on trial, it'll be too late. This is weird. I feel like I'm playing dress up. Let me see. No, seriously, I look in the mirror and I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, no. Look, if you don't like the dress, you can you can try on another one. But first, let me see, all right? Before, before you decide that you don't want to, let me just see what... It... Oh, sweetheart, you look beautiful. <sighs> Clara, Tay and I have a kid together. I think I deserve to know what's going on with her. If something's wrong, you tell me. Is something wrong? Yes. I couldn't stand watching them drag you back here yesterday. 
So I went to Mr. Manning's room and asked him to drop the charges. I can't believe you did that for me. Didn't work. It just pissed him off. And made him say things like, people who cross him are never heard from again. Yeah, he was just trying to scare you. Don't worry, look, you know, I'll talk to Nora. Maybe we can get you some police protection. Police aren't going to protect me from what's about to come out in court. What do you mean? Now that Stars told him about my overdose, he's going to tell his lawyer, and then everyone's going to know how stupid I was about Ford and how he ended up dumping me. Oh, God. Kill me now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just wanted to do what Star wouldn't do. Go to bat with her dad for you. I'm sorry. Did you want to be alone? <laughs>